What's on YouTube? It's PTT back at it with another Destiny 2 raid weapon review. Today we look at the auto rifle Ghost Primus and again as always we will start as normal with taking a look at the perks so let's just jump straight into it. Up first we have Adaptive Frame, a well rounded grip, reliable and sturdy. We have Arrowhead Brake, lightly vented barrel. We have Corkscrew Rifling, balanced barrel. We have Fluted Barrel, ultra light barrel and we have high impact reserves rounds at the end of the magazine deal more damage then we have ambitious assassin overflows the magazine based on the number of rapid kills before reloading and finally we have under pressure improved stability and accuracy as the magazine gets lower and yeah as always guys that was the perk list and in my opinion a great weapon that is extremely usable in both pvp and pve now to break down some of the more important details because the ghost primus has two exceptionally good perks depending on whether you're a pvp player or a pve player First up, we have high impact reserves. Rounds at the end of the magazine deal more damage. Now the base damage for this when the mag is full are 58 on a crit and 22 on a body shot. And these increase to 61 crits and 24 body shots in the last few shots of the mag. So while it's not a massive boost to damage, when you take into account this happens very quickly as it is an auto rifle, well then it is kind of good. My verdict is still out on whether I prefer this to high cow rounds though because obviously high cow rounds give you stagger per shot but I do believe Bungie are actually going to remove or tweak high cow rounds in the future and if they do then this perk will only be made even better. Next we will look at the PVE perk Ambitious Assassin. Overflows the magazine based on the number of rapid kills before reloading. Now, the base magazine size on the Ghost Primus is 44, and after nearly an hour's worth of testing, I managed to get that up to 66 rounds in the magazine, well, actually quite regularly, but I never actually managed to get it any higher, so I do believe this is either one capped at 66, or I just couldn't kill enemies fast enough, but I think that the first is probably more viable, I think it is capped at 66. But that aside guys, right, the ability in the PvE environment to increase your magazine size simply by killing things is absolutely awesome. I honestly never really tried this perk out before in PvE until it came to making this video and testing the weapon out, and I have to say I really do like it. Now yes, there are some other very cool perks to have on weapons if your focus is PvE, but this for me has shot up the list from what I initially thought would be quite a poor and low tier perk to a top tier perk without a doubt. Now, when we compare this to other ARs in the kinetic slot, then we really only have a limited selection. We have the Skadelock, the Origin Story, and the Half Dan D. And all of these are, well, actually extremely poor options to compare against. See, the Skadelock, why a great auto rifle comes with only high caliber rounds as the under pressure perk is total garbage so really it's a pvp effective only weapon the origin story again a great little auto rifle but appended mag flared wagwell and rampage yet again mean a more pvp only effective weapon and as for the hake half dandy auto well that thing is just absolutely terrible a high impact archetype means why you get higher damage the thing fires so slow even its armor piercing rounds and outlaw perk just don't make up enough in my mind for it to be good in either pve or pvp so yeah the ghost primus pretty much sits in a class of its own as it can be great in both the pvp and pve environment now statistically for all of you number conchers out there and those pvp sweats the thing may look as if it comes up a tad short versus the Skade Lock and Origin story, as this weapon does require more shots on target for its time to kill. I mean, statistically, the Ghost Primus requires 11 crits and one body shot to kill. But let's be honest, most of us all aim for center mass with an auto rifle, so realistically, we're looking at the body shot time to kill, and the 16 body shots is the time to kill 
for the Ghost Primus, and that's an exact match to the Scathe Lock. And in comparison to the Origin Story, yes, it comes up a little bit short because the Origin Story requires only 13 body shots to kill, but the difference in fire rate, so the Ghost Primus with a 600 RPM and the Origin Story at 450 RPM, means that the time to kill is hardly even noticeable, as the body shot time to kill is 1.6 seconds on the Ghost Primus and a 1.5 seconds on the Origin Story. Story. So to me, unless you're coming up against a tier 1 PvP player, then I don't think you're actually going to frequently find yourself being outgunned if you come up against another kinetic AR. However, that being said, you know, I've got to point it out, guys. If you come up against an Uriel's Gift, well, that might be a whole different story because those high cow rounds, well, they really do knock your aim off. Statistically, not a lot of difference, again, between the Ghost Primus and the Uriel's Gift. But for me, I know through testing, I found that if I was shooting other ARs and to some point scout rifles and even SMGs, the Ghost Primus would handle itself rather nicely. But up against that Uriel's Gift, it hits you so hard. It throws your aim off, you can't land your shots, and that is the only reason you get outgunned. Not because there is a massive difference in impact, or rate of fire, or stability, or accuracy, or anything like that. It is just the fact that the high cow rounds make you shoot the birds after it's hit you like two or three times. It is crazy. They, like That really does need a tone down, but it's a, that's a topic for another video. Overall, guys, the Ghost Primus is an exceptional little auto rifle that has really impressed me over the past week and a half uh, uh, worth of using it, testing it. She holds her own in both PvP and PvE, and I personally recommend that if you don't have one, then go and get one, as a good kinetic auto rifle actually is very hard to come by at the moment. A kinetic auto rifle that can be used in both PvP and PvE to great effect, well, there is only one real option, and that is the, the video and <laughs> the weapon you are watching now, guys. And on that note, I am going to wrap it up there. As always, if you found the video enjoyable and helpful, then a like would be super appreciated. It helps me, it helps the channel, and we just appreciate and love your support. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Subscribe to the channel for daily Destiny videos. But for now, Guardians, as always, thank you very much for watching, and until the next one, I'll catch you all soon.